What is the American Indian Civil Rights Movement? Many of us know about the Civil Rights Movement, which is when black Americans heroically fought for social justice and equality during the 1950s and 1960s. Unfortunately, the American Indian Civil Rights Movement is often overlooked. So what is it exactly? The American Indian Civil Rights Movement, or the American Indian Movement, AIM, as it's sometimes called, was established in Minneapolis, Minnesota in 1968 by a group of activists, namely Dennis Banks, Clyde Bellacourt, Eddie Benton Benai, and George Mitchell. It originally aimed to improve conditions for Native Americans who had been urbanized and were living in ghettos after government programs forced them out of their reservations. However, AIM eventually encompassed everything that American Indians were demanding. More specifically, it fought for economic independence, the revitalization of their traditional culture, the protection of their legal rights, autonomy over tribal areas, and the restoration of lands that they had owned but were illegally seized from them. The founding of AIM came nearly a decade after the Indian Relocation Act of 1956 was passed. Also referred to as Public Law 959 and the Adult Vocational Training Program, this legislation encouraged Native Americans to leave their reservations and traditional lands in order to assimilate into urban areas. Thousands of Native Americans did end up migrating to cities and other such urban areas. However, they experienced low-wage labor, substandard housing, discrimination, and violence. The initial activities of AIM were meant to help the Native Americans suffering in urban areas in Minneapolis. For example, they established the AIM Patrol to provide help and support to victims of police abuse. The organization also founded the Indian Health Board, which focused on providing Native-centric health care. As the years passed, AIM widened its focus to Native Americans outside of Minneapolis. For instance, it participated in the occupation of Alcatraz Island, which took place November 20th 1969 to June 11, 1971. This months-long protest saw 89 Native Americans and their supporters living on Alcatraz Island in the San Francisco Bay. They tagged buildings with slogans like Red Power and Custer Had It Coming, in reference to George Armstrong Custer, the military commander known for his post-Civil War exploits against Native Americans. He's particularly famous for the 1876 Battle of the Little Bighorn, which has since come to be known as Custer's Last Stand. The Native Americans who participated in the occupation claimed that Alcatraz Island belonged to their people by right of discovery. However, the Nixon administration maintained that transferring the land to them was impossible. In the months that followed, the Native American population on Alcatraz Island swelled to more than 600. They even managed to form a governing council, a clinic, and a security force dubbed the Bureau of Caucasian Affairs, among other things. Unfortunately, their movement was quashed when they were forcibly removed by armed federal marshals. AIM participated in many other movements besides the occupation of Alcatraz Island. One of their most famous actions was the Longest Walk, which took place in July 1978 and saw a few hundred people trekking from Alcatraz Island in San Francisco, California. By the time they arrived in Washington, D.C., the marchers had swelled to more than 30,000. The Longest Walk hoped to raise awareness for the problems plaguing Native American communities across the United States, such as the lack of job opportunities and inadequate housing. Perhaps its biggest achievement, though, was the signing of the American Indian Religious Freedom Act, which lifted the ban on Native American spiritual ceremonies, which had been outlawed since 1884. Unfortunately, Ames national leadership disbanded later that year due to infighting, jealousy, and the FBI's alleged efforts to divide them. Fortunately, several local chapters remained active afterward. Uh, 50 years now is a, a very important time. And I think I've heard a couple of other things about this particular time that, that we're in. Anyway, I just want to say a little words. And, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know who's next. <coughs> Thank you.